Welcome to the Player Supreme Show, coming from ZenMac.com. I'm reading my emails on YouTube, and a brother's asked me a question. He wants help in understanding in what she said. He writes, hey, Player Supreme, I have a quick question. I was talking to a girl that I know late one night while we were chilling with some friends. Everyone else had gone inside, and her and I stayed outside to finish a smoke. Quick side note. I had dated this girl about a year ago for a few weeks, but nothing ever happened between us because, to be honest, I was too pussy whipped or too pussy at the time. I'm 18, hadn't had sex till about two months ago. So anyway, we started talking and she asked me if I mind talking about sex. Okay, that's a very important clue right there. She wants to talk about sex. He goes, uh, she started talking about her last couple of guys and how one relationship had ended badly and that she was through with the whole relationship thing, which is too bad. Then she starts talking about how she's looking for a good fuck every now and then without having to deal with a relationship. Not exactly in those words. So what I got from that talk is that she's pretty much looking for a fuck buddy. Now. Is she talking to me about it because she wants to fuck me or because I'm the kind of guy she tells those things to? If she does want to fuck me, how should I bring up the subject again or ask her? Hope you can help me out. Thanks for the webcasts and videos. They've helped me a lot. And ASP now is his screen name. Let me say that when a woman brings that up, that means she actually, I would believe she actually had an interest in approaching that subject with you. So you might want to try to make the moves on her next time. Try to get her alone and see what happens. The only way you're really going to know is to actually try to escalate. Don't be afraid of escalation because she's the one who brought up sex. You might uh, ask her in private, so have you found a sex buddy yet? As you get close to her mouth. So get right up on her as you say it and say, have you found a sex buddy yet? And then you can start to tease her about it and then go in for maybe a kiss close. If she kisses you, boom, it's on, brother. And you've got yourself a fuck buddy. Doomgon says, hey, man, for the past few weeks, I've been watching your YouTube videos and listening to a few of your podcasts. And I scored a date with this really cute girl. I went on a date with her and got my first kiss. Thanks, man. Keep doing what you're doing. And... Doom gone? Congratulations. You're on your way, brother. Keep it flowing. RMKB1 writes, Hey, brother, maybe you can clue me in on some shit. I got this female I've been talking to. She's cool and all, but there's something she does that kind of has me scratching my head a bit. Sometimes we're talking. She sometimes make a point to ask me what I think of her. She basically keeps asking me to critique her looks. And the women are very insecure about their looks. She sounds like she's insecure, and she wants uh, props from you. He goes on to say, uh, critique her looks, you know, tell her that she's pretty and fine and all that shit. I never really give her a straight answer, but I'm just not sure what to make of that. She's testing to see if I'm a simp. I would say she's more of on the insecure type, and she wants validation. Surely I wouldn't be talking to her if I didn't think she's, she looked good. Uh, just because you're talking to her, that doesn't mean anything. Some women need that extra, they need to actually hear it. Some, we access love through different, uh, different parameters. Some of us are visual. That means we need to see. And for people who are visual, uh, they like to be uh, given flowers, candy, or take them to dinner. It goes both ways also for male and female. Some people are auditory, and they like to hear it. They like to hear the words up in their head. And people like me, I'm kinesthetic. That means to access my feelings of love, I have to be touched or I'm touching someone. And she sounds like she's very auditory because she wants to hear it constantly. Let's see. Uh, he finishes up with, uh, or does she really need me to tell her that bullshit because if I have to tell her that she looks good all the time I don't think I want to mess with a chick like that. That's up to you. 
I uh, don't enjoy girls who are that insecure, but tell her, tell her uh, she, you think she's very pretty, but be, let it come from the heart. You know, tell her not just about her physical looks, tell her how, how you feel. And I don't mean I'm so in love with you, but if you feel that she's a passionate individual, that she's a, a competent individual, tell her that. But go beyond the parameters of just her looks and see what happens. Free business uh, says, uh, no game on a dating site. Hmm. What up, Player Supreme? Thanks for breathing down the game, but I have a problem. I'm sending out tons of emails on a dating site only to get a few replies. And unfortunately, on the dating sites, it's just like the pickup artist game. It's a numbers thing. You're, all you're doing is hoe chasing, which is what I call cold approaching. On, when I was doing internet dating, I like to sit back and let the women contact me. I would never send out any emails or any of that stuff. And I put up a real powerful ad, because your profile really is an ad. If you think about advertising, and you learn about advertising, you realize the value of constructing a powerful profile. That's why so many people who are online have failed, I mean totally failed at online dating, whereas I had tremendous success with it. He goes, um, but when I get a reply, I freeze up trying to think of something clever and witty to get conversation going. What I did was I would look at her profile and study what she had to say and make comments on that. That shows that I'm actually taking the interest in her as an individual. Like if she was into writing, I'd ask her how her writing's going. And that, show, that would show her that I actually paid attention and that I read her profile. That I'm not just looking for a piece of ass, even though I was looking for a piece of ass, but I was looking for a member for my team. He goes on to say, uh, then I think if I get the conversation going, then I could possibly get a date. Okay, any conversation you have with a woman, should be, and I know I'm going to get a lot of uh, bad comments from the idiots out there, but all of your converse, most of your conversation should be focused on her, getting her life story. That has been the most powerful tool that I learned in the game, to take a real and active interest in her life. So you could do the same thing online also, uh, asking her questions about herself. He writes, for example, I'll get a reply, thank you for the compliment, hope you had a great day, and that's it. Okay, if you, re if you go read her profile and get comments like that, next time make a, make a comment on it. What does she do for a living? How's her work going? Is she in school? What is she studying? How's her grades going? What does she really want to be when she gets out of school? Take an interest in her and you'll see that your game will grow even stronger with your online dating stuff. Remember. It's most guys who do the online dating that have no clue how to do it correctly. Us guys, we tend to be very superficial and cheap. We write little short profiles that mean nothing. And that's why a lot of women won't send you anything. Women, I'm saying women, not girls, not kids. Women who are intelligent will take a moment to read your profile. So you decide what kind of woman you want. Do you want someone who's superficial, who won't read a profile? Just go on just your looks, or do you want someone who is actually intelligent and caring? Those are the kind of women that I like. That's me personally. Next, Eddie Knorr says, uh, MP3s won't work. Hey, just brought the book. The book downloaded and worked. A couple of MP3s and the rest of MP3s. I only get half of a few, and the rest wouldn't download at all. Is there another way you can send them to me? And the only way, Eddie, is to actually download them slowly. See, a lot of people try to download the whole massive package because it's over a fucking gigabyte. And if you got trouble with your internet server, because I've been uh, watching movies online, stuff like that, and I think my company has gotten kind of smart about it because I, I'm using a lot of bandwidth. So my inter internet connection interrupts itself. If I try to download something, it'll interrupt itself every now and then. So I, I only get like 10, 10 megabytes of something. So, so I, I asked you to download each book individually, one at a time. Take your time with it. It's over a gigabyte, I know that. It's a lot of fucking files you got to download. And so often we try to do the mass downloading and that fucks it up.